Welcome to my channel, All for Health with Jane. We are still on the Senzo Meiwa Meda trial, a trial within a trial. Family, what I have realized about accused number one and accused number two, you know, it's like they do not understand the role of uh, their defense lawyers. Hence, some of the important information that they were supposed to share with their defense lawyers, they kept that information to themselves, which is now working at a disadvantage to them. Family, one of the things that I'm talking about is that uh, accused number two, when he was arrested, According to him, it had nothing to do with the Nongoma case. But when uh, Advocate Mkwemezulu was cross-examining uh, Sergeant Mohanu, and, and even before cross-examination, in the evidence in chief, when, cross, uh, when Sergeant Mohanu was giving his evidence, uh, Sergeant Mohanu indicated that they, when they arrested accused number two at Puking, it was because of the Nongoma case. In the cross-examination by uh, uh, Advocate Mgomezulu, he cross-examined Sergeant Mohanu on that matter, the Nongoma case. Sergeant Mushololo, uh, Advocate Mushololo as well did the same thing because Advocate Mushololo was even surprised that you arrested um, uh, accused number two based on the Nongoma case, but wherever you went, as I was checking the OB uh, uh, reports, wherever you went, you did not indicate that you were going to investigate the Nongoma case. So, but accused number two denies that he was arrested for the Nongoma case. Family, let's let's listen, let's watch and listen to this clips and then maybe at the end we'll give our comments. Let's listen. How many were you in the boardroom when you interviewed accused number two? It was me, Sergeant Mukula, and Sergeant Mabena. What do you mean, I'm Sergeant Mukula and Sergeant Mabena? Was the interview relating to cast number 163 of 10, 2020? Uh, we will leave a case number 163 of 10, of 2018. No, it was not the only one. It was only the all the cases that he was involved in that we were discussing. All right, including the the murder case of Sanzomayu. That is correct. Uh -huh. This happens while uh, accused number two, Bongani Tanzi, is in court listening and he said nothing to correct this. He said nothing to correct what uh, Sergeant Mohane was saying. Family, the next clip, it's uh, Advocate Mshololo. Let's listen at Advocate Mshololo as she was also cross-examining Sergeant Mohane on this matter. So when were you asked to be part of the investigating team in that case? January 2020. It was in January 2020. I tell you, I'm putting you January 2020. <clears throat> you, the accused was arrested in this matter. I'm referring to accused number two. Anda was arrested under Nongoma case 1310 of 2018. You understand? <laughs> Uh, 10 of 2018, 
and on all the occurrences that we have booked in and out, accused number two, I have not seen wherein you say you book out or you book back or you dealt with the accused number two in respect of Nongoma case. Maybe I missed it in the OB books when you were reading them. Maybe I can't the OB books when I more Yes. My that is correct. That is correct. Family, this was a concern to everyone. In fact, you know, even the comments from the followers, everybody was surprised. Why do they arrest accused number two based on the Nongoma case? And when they leave, after they have um, locked him in at the police station, the following day when they come, they question him about... Uh, the Senzo um, Meiwa a murder. So everybody was surprised. But today, uh, uh, accused number two says never. He was never, ever, ever arrested on the Nongoma case. So let's listen at Advocate Sibanda when he is also cross-examining accused number two on this matter. I, 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 Advocate Sibanda is also surprised because he was also there in court when accused number one, a, 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 a Sergeant Mohani, was saying they have arrested him because of the Nongoma case, and he was quiet. He said nothing about it. Let's listen. He's a person that I was speaking to. Goba bonke la gabe kwa nbabe tuli. Mapanjo kwa mapeni mtu wa suguma, mtu wa agang check, agang buge la strete tuze na yuta. He condemned olela. Except for mapena who stood up as he was instructed that he should closely look at me, whether didn't I have that particular number on my shoulder. Do you recall being questioned regarding the Nongoma case? I was never questioned about the Nongoma case. I only started hearing it when Sergeant Mukhano was testifying. And then you were in court when questions were put to Sergeant Mukhano when they first approached you on the 16th of June 2020 that they were arresting you for the Nongoma case. You recall that part of evidence? Wawgate ula ye ngandolo, ngales kati usaijen muhani, ezebe ilonywa imibuzo uguti yena ute ugbo pela ikalala wa Nongo. Sa kumbu na loko? Ya wanko sa ngandolo. Yes, my lord. And even place the case number on record. Yena, ye upiende wa asho ne case number uguti ya egate iti. Ya lili akalala wa Nongo. Yes, my lord. And then through your counsel, you even said that, did you have a J50 when you went to arrest the accused person at Freedom Park Phase 2? Umelu wako, wapinda wabuza uguti, waigate ena yona, i J50 ngwati ekunyaza uboshwa, ngales kachu uyo boshwa, e tembisa. Tembisa. Did you say tembisa? Freedom Park. A freedom Park. I would not respond on behalf of what the defense had said. But those were your instructions, say. Those were your instructions. Uti kotwa, kwa kate gui nto ewena, uchele umeli. Kosenkantolo, 
into Aikulumale, Lelawan Ngoma and Alukuzwa La Pamboko Senkantolo. My Lord, I have never been arrested for the Nongoma case. As the first time when I heard about the Nongoma case, it was when Sergeant Mukhan was testifying here in court. Because even in Rustenburg, when my defense attorney from Legal Aid had asked him, How many cases do I have? He said, I have the Nongoma case, the First Lord's case, and the case for possession of ammunition. I have never been charged for the Nongoma case. My See, I, I understand you're a lay person, Mr. Ntanzi. And I don't want you to get into the merits of what happened at that um, Pokine case where Mohane gave evidence. And yes, my Lord. So let's leave those issues. Yes, my Lord. When you were booked in at 22.42 on the 16th of June 2020, you were detained under a Nongo Marquez 163 of 10 the 2019 or 2018? Utige umshushis. Gales katu wa ogate ufagwa ngo 22-42-16. number 163-10-22. Which year? 2018. Uti itala laga 2018. My Lord, I am repeating that it was my first time here in court hearing of the Nongoma case. I have never had any case in Guanongo. Now let us move to that document in front of you. Notice of rights. Inwati eniga umuntu amalunge lwati. Yes, I can see it. Whose signature appears on that document? Any to go tell the original? Yeah. Obani to sign it. The signature I am going to sign it. This is my signature. I can see it. What were you signing for? For God to sign it. To sign it. I am going to get a frustration. I am going to get a frustration. My Lord, when I went into the police station, I was informed that I am being arrested for the first Loras matter. I have never been told of the Nongoma case. If I was arrested for the Nongoma case, then why was why, why was I not given a copy? Because I do not have a copy of that Nongoma case. But that is the document that it is issued. That is a controlled document that goes to the docket. You were given your own copy, say. I am putting it to you. When That is a mistake, my lord. Who is making that mistake? Obani oyenza lelo puto. Angi tini zola pamo kose kato tina ngani kola lope. Pipe pana manje kose kato lo nand. Engli pete le wan nand. As I am hearing here in court, my lord, that I was given a copy. The only copy that I was given, it was the one that the witness is showing. I'm asking you, who is making that particular mistake regarding this document? Oti umshu shisuya guzo gutu obani oyenza lelo puto ngali pepe. The person that wrote here, my lord. And that is Sergeant Mohani. The Mundo Wapalala, Sergeant Mohani. Yes, I would say that because I am not the one who wrote here, he is the one that wrote here. Because he told me straight to my face that I am being arrested for the first Loras case. And I was told through Mabena as Sergeant Mohani would instruct him and then he, he, he informed me of what I was arrested for 
and it was my first time hearing of the Nongoma case here in court. And in that document, you also wrote that the case number is Nongoma case 163 of 10, 2018. Asbo, Nick. Good My apologies. We are going to go to the Nongoma case 163, 10, 2018. Yes, my lord, I can see that. Even on the exhibit where you were booked in at Cultural North, he wrote the same thing. Footy, Nagubu Fagas, La Begate Uyewa Bukwa Kona, a Pretoria North, Upalaganjalo, a Palayon, and the Nongoma case. Kupalayan and Cosankandal Gota, I went the Gang and Alente and Le Le and Apalanga Razam Buza Milan Makala and Nongom. This is what he wrote, my lord. However, it did not happen according to the way he had written. He has never asked me about any longer my case. Let's take it a step further. Emily, another thing that amazes me, you know, when they ca cannot stand the heat, they always distance themselves from uh, Advocate Ngomezulu. They keep on saying, no, Ngomezulu are saying that uh, uh, for himself, not for me. So... They don't understand that whatever Mkomezulu is saying, he is representing them. So let's listen at the last clip and then we give our conclusion. So, but Mr. Mkomezulu is speaking on your behalf. But Mr. Mkomezulu is speaking on your behalf. Yes, Mr. Mkomezulu is speaking on your behalf. Yes, my lord, and I am still stating that Mr. Mgomezulu is the one that knows how to address the court. I put it to you, sir, that you are adjusting your version as we go along with this testimony. That is what you are saying. I do not know, my lord. That is total fabrication. Family, can you blame Advocate Sibanda when he says uh, Bonganintanzi is fabricating the story, Bonganintanzi is giving his own version that is different from that one of his advocate or maybe his lawyer? Uh, da, does it serve as an advantage to him, family? In the comment section, let's talk about this. Because once his version differs from that of his defense lawyer, it, it's a problem. It's, it's, it's a problem. This is not going to save him in any way. So maybe let's talk. Those who understand the law in the comment section, tell me, do you think it's right? This is right for him to change everything like this. Family, thank you very much for watching this video to the end. Please like it before, like this video before you leave. Subscribe for my channel if you haven't done so yet. I love you, family. Thank you. Bye.